Hi, this is David Weekly with CreanZ.com, and here we are at the Apogee Technology booth. Hello. Hi. Uh, could you tell me, what is what are these chips that you're holding right here? Yeah, this is what this is, a chip, uh, digital controller. And this, is, this is a power device. It's a two-channel, 35-watt power device that's controlled digitally from this chip here. These chips here are embedded in currently in an Altec Lansing uh, surround sound system that we're also demoing here. And are you planning to license it to other companies? Yes, we're in discussions with a number of custom co companies now to license this technology similar to we have the way we have with Altec. So what do these chips do here? This, all the other amplifiers that you see at CES today are, um, are amplifiers that are, that are amplified di uh, in an analog way. This is analog digitally. And there's a couple of advantages with that, with it being analog digitally. One is it doesn't require a big heat sink. So whereas you see an amplifier today that's a big box with a large heat sink, this can be very small without any metal around it, without any heat sink. Which that's is, the whole amplifier right there? The whole amplifier right here, which allows it to be put into devices like small speaker systems, speaker systems that go in the wall, uh, MP3 players, very small devices that can't, that don't, you know, have enough room to fit the whole heat sink in there. Now, I see everybody uh, playing on the PlayStation 2 over here. What is your chipset have to do with the PlayStation 2? Yeah, what we've done with the PlayStation 2 is we've taken the Alltech Lansing surround sound system and we've hooked it up to a PlayStation 2. So it's it's a PC multimedia solution that can work with a PC, a DVD player, or a uh, PlayStation 2. And there's obviously a lot of excitement that you see with the PlayStation 2. Definitely. Now, these chips, is the... Besides making them small, does this make them cheaper to make them digitally amplifying? With silicon, any silicon, the size is all that matters. The pricing is all based on the size of the silicon. And because it's completely digital, it's much smaller than an analog chip. And also, digital chips continue to get smaller and smaller. Uh, over time, they're gonna, it's going to be much smaller than this uh, with some of the technology that's coming out now. So this implements a 5.1 channel amplifier? This one here is a 2 channel amplifier, uh, 2 channel 35 watt per channel amplifier. These, if you look at the Alltech system, are sim system similar. These, you can have multiple. So in their case, it's a 5.1 system with three of these. And this doesn't do the encoding on its own, though? This does not do the encoding. Okay. So you, you have to first parse out the bitstream and then feed it directly to this to actually dec That's correct. So um, when can we expect to see low-cost products with the Apogee chips rolled out onto the market? We'll have the chipset available to OEM manufacturers in the first quarter, probably in about 45 days for now. Uh, All Tech Lansing is our first design win. We have others that we hope to announce shortly, and uh, then it will be based on their product cycles as to when they have products available. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much.